welcome to Stock Talk. This is your host, Scott. Hope you had a good weekend. I uh, hope you had a good day in the market Thursday and Friday. Um, Friday, we did have a down day, uh, but I was able to make a sale. Uh, so we'll talk about that, talk about our portfolio, take a look at the futures. And tonight, I want to talk a little bit about, about dividends and, you know, do I do I pay attention to that when I purchase stocks and and that kind of thing, or when I'm even going to sell a stock? Um, so we'll talk about that as we dive into the video here. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at our portfolio and see uh, how we did Friday. All right, so the market was down, as you can see here. Dow was down 360 points. So uh, if you look at the portfolio, you're going to see a reflection of that. A lot of red out there. Uh, we did have a couple green ones. Let's go ahead and look at those. Cliff was a green one, uh, half half a percent up. And here's the uh, here's the big one. That's, uh, the big winner was Novax, Novavax, um, up 12.63 percent. Uh, this is the one I actually sold. I talked about that in a previous video that I'd like to try to sell some of that and get that cash on the sideline. And it was just a great time to do that. I uh, actually sold it very close to the high. Let's go ahead and take a look at Novavax uh, for the day riding. As you can see here, it, it took off pretty much from the get-go. Uh, kind of a steady climb, then plateaued a little bit here, and then climbed up midday. So it got up to here around um, 540 something. So uh, I just watched it the rest of the day as it pulled back a little bit and just kept fighting to get up there. And uh, it got up around 1565. And that's, that's when I unloaded the shares I had in one of my accounts. Uh, those are the ones uh, we were in at uh, 1343, tossed average on that, and sold it at 1565. Had them, we probably had uh, started buying that a month ago, and probably uh, maybe five weeks, uh, but we ended up with a 12.34% gain on those shares. So that's that's. That's a good gain for five weeks, uh, especially with what's going on in the market. Uh, had a good bit of that, so that's uh, a good bit of cash on the sideline now. So that makes me feel a lot better as far as uh, what may happen in the next couple of weeks as far as the market goes. We're already seeing the indications of that on Friday. Uh, but who knows? Uh, you know, the news can change at any moment, and uh, that could all turn around and and the market could head back up. But uh, still feeling like there's going to be a pullback. We're ready if there, we're ready if there is. So the rest of us was pretty much uh, red. The, the markets were down almost uh, one point one and a half percent. A lot of ours were down one and a half percent, and then you got some that are down more than that. But other than that, you can expect that. you If you have a down market 360 points, more than likely you're going to have a lot of red in your own portfolio. And it was, a, it was a slow grind down on Friday, so uh, that's just the way it goes. You can see here, it just kind of slowly died out. And again, a lot of that is just people selling on Friday. They don't like to leave their money in the markets on Friday. And we were one of them, uh, but we didn't sell for a loss or anything. We sold, we sold something for a pretty good game. So that was awesome, and I'm glad we did that. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what's going on in the markets tonight. And then we'll talk about some dividend. But in the market tonight, we uh, we do have a futures uh, showing. It might start out green tomorrow. Uh, we're up about 2% across the board. Uh, Dow's futures up 433 points, which is great. Uh, the downside here, I see that oil has taken another pretty good hit. And it says here, uh, stocks are set to rise, and but you, your oil has dropped 9%. Following a record surge last week, they did have a good week last week, but uh, they were supposed to have an OPEC meeting on Monday, and evidently that's been rescheduled for Thursday. So we'll just wait for Thursday, see how that goes. What, what's going on here? It looks like uh, OPEC and Russia are trying to get uh, the United States in on these on some of these oil talks as well. They got a meeting in June. They want the U.S. to join, but the U.S. is just I mean their their production is wide open and uh, the, of course Russia and Saudi doesn't like that either so uh, it's going to have to be some kind of agreement made between all three 
uh, outfits there to get this oil price settled down. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes Thursday, see if Russia and Saudi can come up with something. But this oil is going to be very unstable for the time being. So we can count on that. Let's take a look at Asia. Asia tonight. Uh, let's see here. We got the Nikki is up a little bit, just to, just almost flat. Shanghai is on, uh, half a percent down. And it looks like Hong Kong is not even open yet. So uh, that's okay. It looks like nothing major going on there. And our oil, we've already talked about that. You can see it's already taking a good whack here. So those are things to look for tomorrow. Oil, and we're going to look for our futures. Uh, to start out in the green unless something changes okay so uh, not a bad not a bad week last week got to make a sale and I'm always glad to make a sale and especially one that was uh, uh, you know 12 percent gain for five weeks and it was a it was a pretty good bit of shares so happy about that got that money on the sideline now what I will do if I'm gonna be watching Novavax and if it gets back down around that 1350 level I'm probably going to start nibbling again, okay? Uh, I'll probably start nibbling again at 13.50. So I'll be watching that because we had some at 14. I think we had some at 14.90, 14.00, and 12.00, and 13.50 or 13.80 or something like that. So, uh, but we were cost average at 13.93. All right, so watch for that Novavax around 13.50. That's where I'm going to jump back in it if it comes uh, back down to that area. All right, so um, dividends. Let's talk a little bit about dividends and, uh, you know, do you pay attention to that when you buy stocks? Some people do. Uh, and uh, just just for information, there's episode 21 where we talk, I talked about dividends a good bit. Um, and I'm going to talk about it again tonight because somebody had to ask, ask about that. So, But episode 21, it's uh, sold, no backs, and MPC, I think is the name of it. But uh, episode 21, I talked a little bit in detail, especially about the ex-dividend date. So, but as far as dividends go, um, I don't pay attention to dividends. I mean, it's nice if, it, if I buy something that's got a dividend, uh, but that's not my primary thing I'm looking at. I mean, I may glimpse at it just to see, okay, that's one plus. Uh, it does pay a dividend, but uh, dividends can be a little tricky. It looks like a good thing, but... It depends what's going on with the stock, uh, and why is the dividend so high? That's a, that's something you you always need to ask as well. And uh, but let me let me pull one up here and let's just do a, a quick look at MPC because that's the one we were talking about in that episode 21. And uh, if you go back in that episode 21, you'll notice that that MPC was trading about almost fifty nine dollars a share, and it's way down from there now. But the dividend, you know, and, and at that time was like 4.09% uh, uh, back when it was $59 a share almost. Well, the dividend is quite a bit of difference now. So let's take a look at that and uh, let me pull that stock up. Let's go, let's go there and uh, let me pull up the MPC chart and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here's MPC. We're not at 50 uh we're not there anymore at $58, $59. We are, uh, what was the close on this thing? It was closed at uh, $20.06. So that's quite a bit of difference from where we were at. But MPC's company's not broke. MPC stock's not broke. This is just a market that's broke. And that's what's brought this thing down. So, and the oil prices, you know, what's going on with that? That's got this in a in a mess. So we, we're not worried about the company right now. Uh, but I want to show you, for instance, uh, and this has happened to me because, you know, when I was first trading, somebody had mentioned something about something paying, you know, it's paying 15% dividend. I thought, man, 15% on your money is not bad. And, and that's, of course, for a year, right? So quarterly, that would have been, what, uh, about four, almost 4%, right? So um, let's take a look at the dividend here. Remember I said on that other video, it was at 4.09%, uh, but look at look at where that dividend is now. It's 10.93%, okay? 10.93%. Now, if, if you're somebody that has this stock, and uh, I'll give you for instance, my dad had this stock his whole life, pretty much, uh, from his retirement, and 
he has the dividend get paid and it rolls back in and it just repurchases shares. So, uh, you know, when the stock would go down, he wouldn't get too worried about it because he knew that that dividend was going to be buying more shares, more shares at a lower price than it being way up there at $59. So, uh, if it stays, okay, so that's going to be good for anybody reinvesting. Uh, and if it stays at that percentage. Now, what can happen, especially when a company's in trouble. Now, MPC's not in trouble right now. Uh, this is just all market. But if there's something going on with a company and now you're seeing a 10% dividend or 12% or dividend, then you got to say, what's going on with that company? Because uh, their stock's probably falling from when they were paying a decent dividend, maybe 4 or 5%, and now it's down to, now it's back up to 10 or 11%, 12% but something's wrong with the company. And so here's some things you got to worry about. First of all, one of the first things they'll do when they get in trouble is they will stop paying a dividend, okay? So if you were buying this stock and just buying this stock for this dividend, and this is a company that's in trouble, if you were buying it for a dividend, uh, and then they say, we're not going to pay a dividend anymore because we the company's you know got issues, uh, Guess what happens to the stock price then? It goes down even further, and plus you don't have a dividend, so so you're not you're not really making any money on this stock at all now because they're not going to pay a dividend, and they're also the prices of their shares are going down. Not to mention that the price of your shares probably been going down ever since you've been buying it because that's why the dividend's so high. So don't let that dividend fool you. Uh, I don't pay attention to a dividend because most time, back when the, the market wasn't broke and, and this was running at $50 or $59 a share, that dividend was 4.09%, a percent a quarter. And like I mentioned in the other video, these things go up and down a percent, percent every day. So why am I worried about that little percent thing? Uh, I'm not, you know, a quarter. I'm not going to worry about it. You know, I'm not worried about percent. It's a plus. You know, if you're holding the stock and then, uh, and you get paid that dividend, that's wonderful. That happens to me all the time. I see, I see where I get paid dividends, and I'm like, okay, I'll take that eighty bucks or whatever it is. You know, uh, so it's 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 money that gets put into your account. But one thing I've mentioned in the other video that I've I've noticed as well is a lot of times these stocks will go down shortly after the ex dividend date. And if you want to learn more about that ex dividend date, watch that episode twenty one. Uh, but it, it will go down after that ex-dividend date because people know they're going to get that dividend, so they'll go ahead and get out of the stock. And uh, so that's another thing that I just don't worry about. it. I don't pay attention to the dividends. It's great. They pay me one while I'm holding stock. Uh, I, again, I'm not, a, I'm not really, I'm a trader slash investor, uh, especially now that I'm retired because I don't like to have all my money out there in the market at, at one time. Uh, I like to trade. I like to get in and out, make money. You know, if it's 3% in a week, that's fine with me. I'll take it. That's beats the CD many times over if you do that many times a year. So that's kind of my strategy. Other people have strategies where they, they like to get that check in the mailbox. And, and, you know, i got a friend of mine. He loves to get those checks in the mailbox. And uh, that's great if, if the base of your share price is not going down. But guess what? Anybody getting those checks in the mailbox, every one of those bases have gone way down in the last, you know, uh, month or so. So is it really worth the dividend? you got to ask yourself that sometimes. So <clears throat> that's uh, kind of what I think about dividends. Um, I just don't pay that great, of, that great attention to it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with dividends. So if that's, if that's part of your strategy, then more power to you, uh, just not something I'm going to be concerned about. Uh, I'll just take the money if they if they want to pay me, okay? If the time is right, I'll keep it while the ex dividend date's been rolling around, but uh, not my focus, not my focus at all. Uh, so tomorrow, what I'm going to be looking for again, uh, and this week, is I'm going to be looking for that Novavax, to, if it can get back around 1350, I'll start nibbling back at that. Uh, also, I want to pick up some more DIA uh, in my other account. I've got I bought back in half of it, 
last week and uh, I'm going to buy another half this week into this other account. <clears throat> now that I've got more cash there. Um, and we're just going to talk, uh, take a look at the market, watch what it's doing. If it uh, takes some big falls, I'm probably going to be buying some of these ETFs, cost averaging on what I've got. Uh, spies up there pretty close to even, so you know, if we have a couple good days, we may sell out of that one. Uh, who knows, depending on how far it goes up. So we're going to just, uh, same as ever, I'm going to be looking for opportunities to buy, opportunities to sell, and op opportunities just to stay put, uh, especially with what's going on in the world today. So I appreciate you watching the video. Um, appreciate the questions and the comments. Uh, again, if, if you haven't subscribed, please do that. We picked up another subscriber. Appreciate that as well. Um, and tell your friends about it if they're just now starting to learn to trade your stocks. I'm, I mean, I don't have that many subscribers, so it's not hard to reply to the comments. And uh, it may help you uh, when you're trading. Uh, uh, that's the purpose of this channel is not to get a bunch of subscribers. It's to help people that want to trade and, and have fun doing it. Okay? So have a great, great day tomorrow. Uh, looks like we might start green, so we might have a good day tomorrow. But it's, it's good either way. Red up or down, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can make a good day out of it. All right, have a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Bye. To subscribe, click the button in the right-hand corner. Thank you.